Hey, what is going on, fellas and ladies? It's Sanitary here. Um, my wife usually films. She's on a business trip, so I got to uh, do this solo uh, Saturday morning. Around 10 a.m., I uh, hit the gym. Woke up at 6 o'clock in the morning and hit the legs. Got a good workout, took a shower, and I went to Trader Joe's once again. Uh, every week, it kind of varies, but like I said in the past videos, the main foundation is the same. I got some other things I gotta take care of later on uh, for this weekend, so let's go and get started. And uh, start off with the greens. Good old baby spinach. You can make a nice salad, spring salad. Right here, a lot of greens. And I got some uh, Brussels sprouts right here. And they're ready in three minutes. Um, in the past, I never liked Brussels sprouts, but my uh, wife uh, makes a killer uh, recipe with um, just like shallots and then you bake it, olive oil, salt and pepper. It's a big uh, hit. My uh, wife made it one time when we brought a dish for uh, Thanksgiving a couple years ago and it was a hit and everyone liked it. So these are good. This is ready in three minutes. And then uh, more greens. If you get tired of regular broccoli, it's a little bit more expensive, but this is a baby broccolini right here. And uh, it's got a different texture, but I do like it. So you get a lot of greens. Moving on to the proteins, I don't want to take it all out it's kind of annoying, but you got, got your old chicken breast right here. I got two packages here, and thank goodness I went in the morning because uh, there was only two left that were uh, the free range organic. Uh, you don't have to do that, but that's how I roll. Two left and I got them, and also there was only two left of this uh, wild Alaskan salmon right here. I will say, you know, these meats can get fairly expensive because uh, this whole, and I'll get to the rest of, stu of the stuff, this whole thing costs about $90 and I would say almost half of the bill is basically the meats right here. So if you're on a budget, you can just get the regular, you know, fish and chicken. It's better than, you know, eating out all the time and you'll save half, the, half a fraction of the price. Uh, some of the stuff for my uh, wife right here, uh, green, uh, what is this, yogurt, green tea. Never had it, but she, she really likes it right there. And then, um, I'm not sure, I'm probably going to be making another uh, cooking meal eventually. I got some harissa uh, pepper paste. I don't, I don't uh, eat spicy that often, but a little bit of kick I, I do enjoy, I must admit. And then I got some, I may have shown this in the past, got the, they call the teeny tiny potatoes. These are great because they cook really fast. Just Olive oil, salt and pepper, put on a baking sheet, 10 minutes, boom, done. Very fast. I like it too, it's really tasty. And also, uh, recently I put some uh, garlic uh, powder on top or some garlic salt. Extra flavor, it's good. Oh, one more meat I forgot and uh, it was hiding. Got the 8515 uh, grass fed beef right here. Don't eat beef too, too often, but once in a while is okay. Moving right along, what else we got? Just got some uh, organic uh, white mushrooms. And I got a um, apple, a little snack. It's getting low on the peanut butter and uh, right here. Organic uh, peanut butter, uh, no salt. Some people like the creamy, I just like the crunchy because I primarily put it in my uh, protein shake and I like this brand. Uh, I've liked most peanut butter uh, brands. I mean, how can you go wrong? Uh, the only one I don't like is called the Mara Nation, M-A-R-A, -A, and then Nation. Uh, I can't remember why, it just didn't, the consistency of it was just weird. Other than that, Organics brand is fine from uh, Safeway. This one I really like, it's got the little cute elephant right there. And just got some uh, marinara sauce. If we make uh, some pastas, uh, whole wheat pastas, right there and this is probably for the brussels sprouts and you got the uh, shallots right here you cut them up and then you put it with the uh, brussels sprouts and then you always got to get garlic i love my garlic then almost done got the good old eggs jumbo eggs free range organic great source of protein got a 12 er right here and always always check the bottom of the eggs when you go i know it's a pain in the butt just you have to pick all of them up and check because if one cracks, you're screwed. The good thing about Trader Joe's, though, I forgot to mention, is they have a no-ask return policy. You can try anything, 
try that milk, you can try this, you can try that. And if you don't like it, you return it. They don't even ask you why. It's just uh, in good faith. So you can uh, try new things and if you don't like it, uh, return it. Now, I wouldn't abuse that, you know, just be courteous about it. But if you really don't like something, like for instance, if you got this uh, yogurt and you're like, oh, I wanna try this green tea one and you absolutely hated it, don't feel bad. It's just one little product and return it and uh, they'll give you your money back. And they're pretty nice there. Then always the bananas. So uh, turn it around. That's uh, it for this video. Hopefully you enjoyed the grocery haul, uh, Trader Joe's. And like I said in the past, I go to uh, Safeway sometimes, uh, Whole Foods. They do get expensive, though with Amazon buying Whole Foods, they've been cutting the prices, so that's always good. Gets a little crowded there, and then Trader Joe's, and then um, Lucky, there's a Lucky by my house, but they don't have as much free range organic and grass fed stuff that, that I like, so I don't go there that often. So that's my time, hopefully uh, that video was helpful, I'll give you some insight on what I typically eat, and I will uh, catch you in the next video, bye.